Hello, and welcome to Shirley English. Today, we will explore basic navigation features for the Shirley English Interactive Eye. On pages throughout your digital teacher's manual and digital student textbook, you will see a menu cluster at the bottom of the page. From this menu, you can access numerous interactive features that make the Shirley English curriculum dynamic and engaging. Today we will focus on content located in the interactive eye. To access the interactive eye, click the blue icon located at the bottom of the page. If you prefer to use keyboard shortcuts, you may use the hotkey I. The menu will display the interactive features available for that page. For your convenience, we have placed different icons next to each feature type. First, let's explore the Demonstrations feature. Click the item you wish to access. The demonstration will start playing automatically. To pause the demonstration, click the Pause Play icon located below the scrub bar. You may also press the space bar on the keyboard. To navigate through the demonstration, you may utilize the scrub bar. Slide the scrub bar left and right to adjust playback. You may also click within the scrub bar to jump to any portion of the content. The volume is controlled using the volume icon below the scrub bar. Pan over the volume icon to make the volume bar visible. Click the volume bar and slide it left and right to adjust the volume. To close the demonstration feature, click the yellow back arrow button, which is located at the top left-hand side of the screen. You may also press the escape key on the keyboard. Next, let's explore the jingles feature. Click the interactive eye and select the item you wish to access. The jingle will start playing automatically. To pause the jingle, click the pause play icon located below the scrub bar. You may also press the space bar on the keyboard. To navigate through the jingle, you may utilize the scrub bar. Slide the scrub bar left and right to adjust playback. You may also click within the scrub bar to jump to any portion of the content. The volume is controlled using the volume icon below the scrub bar. Pan over the volume icon to make the volume bar visible. Click the volume bar and slide it left and right to adjust the volume. To close the jingle feature, click the yellow back arrow button, which is located at the top left-hand side of the screen. You may also press the escape key on the keyboard. Now let's explore whiteboard activities. Click the interactive eye and select the item you wish to access. Our Shirley English Whiteboard Activities or IWBs can be launched on an interactive whiteboard or on your computer. It is a great way for your students to practice various skills. There is no need to write sentences or draw writing maps. We have done the work for you. To draw, you may use a mouse or an interactive whiteboard pen. An editing toolbar is located at the bottom of the screen. The toolbar includes a color palette and the Undo Erase All features. The color palette allows you to change your pen color. First, click the color palette icon. Then, select the color of your choice. You may also select a color using keyboard shortcuts. The numbers 1 through 9 at the top of your keyboard are hotkeys. Each number corresponds to a color. The active color is always depicted in the color palette icon. For this demonstration, our active color is pink. Another feature found in the toolbar is the undo feature. Undo reverses the last drawing action you performed. You may also press the backspace key on a traditional keyboard to undo the last drawing action. If you would like to erase the entire screen, select the Erase All icon. On a traditional keyboard, you may press the Delete key to erase all. To navigate through the IWB activity, 
click the Next button located in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. You may also use the arrow keys or the spacebar on your keyboard. To navigate to a previous portion of the IWB activity, click the Back button located in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. You may also use the arrow keys on your keyboard. There are several ways to close an IWB activity. First, you can click the yellow back arrow button located at the top left-hand side of the screen. Second, you can press the exit button, which is located in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Third, you can press the escape key on the keyboard. Now let's explore the view print PDF feature. Click the interactive eye and select the item you wish to access. The Shirley portal will automatically launch Adobe Acrobat Reader to view the PDF file. If you wish, you may also print the file. Please note that to utilize this feature, Adobe Acrobat Reader software is required. All the navigation features we discussed today, along with many others, can be found by accessing the Navigation Help page. Click the question mark button located at the top left-hand side of the screen to scroll through the documentation. Thank you for taking the time to explore the basic navigation features for the Shirley English Interactive Eye. If you would like to learn more about Shirley English and our digital offerings, please visit www.shirley.com.